What's up guys, JC Sense here, and I'm gonna take you on a ride of some of my predictions on what to expect through the rest of 2020 when it comes to new product launches. And I'm proud to say, not proud, but happy to say that I was a bit wrong in my previous video predicting that people were gonna be running out and buying everything that they could because manufacturing in China had halted. Well, China actually did a pretty good job of getting things ramped back up uh, quickly with very little interruption in terms of supply chain. So that's a good thing. I was wrong and parts are still plentifully available, but should you buy those parts now or wait for what's gonna potentially be coming this year? Back to that old discussion. Experience RTX and DLSS with a free Deliver Us the Moon game with the purchase of any EVGA GeForce RTX enabled graphics card. To see the full lineup of RTX enabled video cards from EVGA and to learn more about this free game offer, head to the link in the description below. So about every other year, you see the big four release products all around the same time. And that makes sense because they all compete with each other. There are, I say the main four, there's four main product releases amongst three, or however Europeans do it, and Canadians, three major brands, that obviously being AMD, Intel, and Nvidia. Now, with everything going on with this uh, pandemic, we have seen uh, events just canceled across the board. Flights, vacations, conferences, you name it, it's been canceled. And so with it probably came quite a reshuffling of this, the internal timeline and schedule when it comes to launches for these new products. Because 2020 was gonna be a pivotal year, probably the best year for PC enthusiasts yet. We're gonna see new 3000 series or whatever they're called NVIDIA graphics cards, finally replacing the Turing architecture that's gonna, it's approaching two years old. It is uh, about a year and a half old now. We've, gonna, we've got 4,000 series AMD CPUs, which AMD has been cranking out CPUs every year to year and a half like clockwork since 2016 as promised. So they are keeping their word. Every single generation is better than the previous and they've brought enough disruption to Intel's entire business model to where AMD will have launched two families of GPUs in the time it's taken in Intel to tease one. They haven't even come out with it yet. So that's gonna be interesting. Speaking of Intel, we've got Intel that's gonna be also coming out with its, uh, I guess it's 10th gen, right? 10,000 10, series GPU or CPUs, which has kind of already made its way to laptops and we'll talk about that in a minute. And then of course, AMD once again with the rumored, anticipated, and who knows what to expect, Big Navi. So let's go ahead and start off with Nvidia, probably one of the most anticipated. We all love our graphics cards. Our, ga our games run better with better graphics cards. Sure, CPUs are fun and motherboards are the unsung heroes of a system stability, but graphics cards, man, they get all the glory. They get all the chicks. And so 2080 Ti was the single most expensive mainstream desktop GPU that had ever been launched from Nvidia. Yes, I know there were the dual graphics cards like the 590 and the 690. And yes, I know Titans cost more. They also don't classify Titan as a mainstream GPU. So they had jumped from around the 649 to $700 price point all the way up to $1,200 with Turing, which made everyone furious. And so we're all kind of expecting a new graphics card to come out this year, hopefully at the same price point, but with better performance. So getting more performance for the same amount of money is never a bad thing. Even if that amount of money is overpriced and out of reach for a vast majority of builders, getting more for your money is a good thing. And that's going to trickle, that's gonna trickle down the product stack. Every product is gonna be better for the same price if Nvidia is, is smart. So I don't, I don't see them not doing that, but I guess we'll have to see. But when's that graphics card gonna come out? And what's the specs gonna be? Well, the specs, I have no idea. I don't, I don't look at the rumors. I don't look at like the, all the tabloids like WCCF tech and stuff like that. I basically just wait for the actual information to come to me from Nvidia, which I need to preface by the way. Um, none of this stuff I'm talking about with specs and whatnot, do I know personally from any of these brands, we haven't reached that point yet to where we're in the know. Cause if I was, I couldn't make this video. That would be against NDA. When it comes to predicted launch though, of Nvidia's new graphics card, and I say graphics card, they're gonna launch probably one or two and then down the product stack from there like they always do. I would have expected something around Computex, time frame wise, because of the fact that I don't think Nvidia wants to hit two years old with Turing, but that hasn't stopped them from letting graphics cards be two plus years old in the past. In fact, Pascal launched 
the Pascal series graphics card launched in what? Uh, I think it was May of 2016 when we went to, it was in Austin, Texas and they hitched their wagon onto the DreamHack conference game center there and then they just said hey guys come on over here we got a thing to show you and then they launched the 1080 and then 1080 ti came later so that was may of 2016 touring didn't come out until august of 2018 that's two and a half years so uh i think it's highly probable that we may not see anything from nvidia regarding new graphics cards until the end of this year at the earliest I don't think that they're gonna hitch themselves onto another conference. I think with how much things are kind of up in the air right now, and with the global situation going on being unprecedented, something we've never seen to this scale, at least in our modern society, we don't know what's gonna happen in the future and potential cancellations again. So I suspect there will probably be a conference or something held at their Silicon Valley campus with, uh, their own employees filling the audience, doing all the cheering and stuff, while Jensen goes up there and does a keynote to an internet audience only. I have a feeling that that's what we might see. If travel restrictions and stuff are not in place at the time, then maybe they'll bring in influencers and stuff, just like Apple would do at their conference for their launches. But I have a hard time kind of seeing NVIDIA doing some sort of an offsite event this year. But as for timeline, I think it'll be this year, but I don't think we're gonna see it until Q3, Q4 at the soonest. So if you're waiting for that new graphics card and you're holding on to something really old, you'll probably be waiting a bit longer. Unless you're waiting for AMD, which again, up in the air, we have no idea what's happening with Big Navi. I do expect Big Navi though to come out sooner than Nvidia, uh, Nvidia's graphics card. I have a feeling Nvidia would wanna do a counter punch to AMD because Nvidia, unfortunately, uh, unfortunately for AMD, has always been a generation or two ahead of AMD. AMD has always played catch up, finally catching up to whatever maybe last gen was. And with 5700 XT and Navi actually catching up to what current mid gen was. And what I mean by that is like 2070s, 2070 supers. That's middle, that's mid range for Nvidia. If you don't, if you want to call those high end graphics cards, fine. It's still mid range in terms of their product stack. So I have a feeling this year, Nvidia is just going to stick with the whole, we'll wait and see what AMD launches and then we'll counter with our new thing, making AMD, once again, only equal to their previous generation. Um, I don't think that's gonna stop many people. I think when it comes to performance per dollar, that's what people care about. They don't care about what generation it is. If you're not one of those people that's like, well, that's last year's shoes, then it won't really matter to you. Because at the end of the day, what you see on your screen is all you care about. Who cares what's in the computer as long as what's on the screen is meeting your demands. And that, if that's last gen's GPU, then who freaking cares? So I expect though, probably sometime around Computex, is when AMD would want to launch. Let me back up a second here. Around when Computex would have been, because Computex this year was also pushed to the end of September. So with it being pushed, I'm not convinced a lot of these companies are gonna want their releases pushed with it. Now AMD could probably bear it and be fine with it. But I think with how much people are waiting for Big Navi, I have a feeling they might try and do their teaser keynotes and stuff sooner, and then we might see a physical launch at Computex. What do I mean by that? AMD is notorious for stretching along a launch as long as they possibly can. They'll do a teaser at CES. They'll do another teaser at, at, at GDC or GTC even. They'll do another teaser at Computex and then they'll be like available in two months. We'll finally do the final keynote showing you all the specs. And although AMD has come out with some great stuff, man, do they stretch the sh out of that line until it's transparent. And it kind of gets annoying if you want to know the truth. So my prediction is that you won't know anything concrete until probably another three or four months from now. What about AMD CPUs? Those are probably a lot sooner if you want to know the truth. AMD does not typically launch CPUs and, AM and GPUs at the same time. They are two different divisions of the same company, the same parent company. So they are under different management. They are under different timelines. Being a concurrent launch seems very unlikely from them. Uh, especially since we've already seen the launch this year, which was very quick and very um, unfanfare. And I guess that makes sense considering the fact that there, was no, there were no shows or anything to really hitch it onto. The 4000 series GP, or CPUs being put into the, the latest gen laptops. And then Intel responded with that, with their 10th gen, finally, their lineup of 10th gen, like eight core, 16 thread CPUs uh, in their laptops. And then having NVIDIA, hitch on to that now with 2080 Super Max-Q 
um, graphics now available inside of the laptop. So AMD launched a, a, a laptop with 4000 series CPU in it. And the only thing to compare it to at the time was the most recent Intel laptop, which was running the first part of the 10th gen or latest 9th gen CPUs. And then Intel comes out with their 10th gen full blown CPUs later. And I have not seen how they directly compare, but it's one of those like one gets wind of what the other is doing and then they try to strategically time it so that whoever's last, you want to be last in this instance, whoever's most recent gets talked about most. And so that's what Intel was kind of doing there. And I think we'll see the very same thing happen when it comes to CPUs. Although CPUs, I believe there's going to be a, a first strike from Intel. AMD is not its own manufacturer. It takes AMD much more time to manufacture uh, their CPUs because they have to use a third party. And that third party is also manufacturing a massive amount of amount of electronics for other companies, not just AMD, whereas Intel is its own manufacturer. So Intel can sort of pivot and move very quickly when it's finally time to launch it, which is kind of ironic given the fact that we'll have taken Intel the amount of time it took AMD to create two families of, of CPUs to even tease their response to the 3000 series. So yeah, Intel, um, definitely time to get up off your butt. And I think they're gonna do that this year. We're gonna probably see a new chipset. We're gonna see new CPUs, um, all new family of, of, of stuff. I think we're gonna see more mainstream cores crammed into whatever. I don't think it's a new socket. I know nothing about it though, so we'll see. Oh, and, and then timeline for, for the Intel thing, I suspect around the time that Computex would have been held, because I feel like a lot of these brands were were probably priming stuff to get ready for Computex, and then now that Computex has been pushed, those companies are like, well, we're still gonna go with it, we're still gonna go with that timeline, and then they'll just adjust how they're gonna announce it. Um, I believe that to be the timeline for Intel. And I kind of feel like AMD will be I want to say right after that, but I feel like AMD will get word of, of Intel's launch schedule and then they'll try and do the thing AMD does, which is bring everyone's attention to them by trying to beat them by a day. So something stupid like that, but whatever, um, I digress. When it comes to buying stuff right now though, there's only one, there's only one thing I would warn you of if you're waiting for the new products. One, they're very rarely ever available at the time of launch. It's usually a week or two later. Two, everyone and their mom is probably gonna be trying to get it. And, and you may not be in the situation where you're like, well, I can't just run out and buy new stuff when it launches. You may not be, but there are 7 billion people in this world and believe it or not, lots of them can. And so what's gonna happen is people are gonna buy it up pretty much instantaneously. And if you're one of those people that's waiting for that final piece, let's say your graphics card or whatever, and you don't get the new gen stuff like you want, and then you go, well, I don't want to play this game where I've got to click notify and be notified of when it's in stock and then take potentially months to finally get one because they keep getting bought up instantaneously. You go, I'm just going to buy the old one. Then you start realizing there's a shortage on the old stuff too, because once the new stuff has been announced, that means manufacturing on the old stuff was over a long time ago and all the new stuff has already been ramped up. All the retooling has happened. All the machinery is making the new gen stuff, not the old stuff. So what you're seeing is nothing but surplus when it comes to productivity of the old product. So you're probably going to find yourself in the same boat where everyone else is like, fine, I'm just going to buy this 2080 Ti and I'll be fine with that. So you might end up left out. So my best suggestion would be start saving now every penny that you can so that if you don't get the product that you want, you can immediately pivot and get the other one. PC gaming and live streaming is that it's most popular that it's ever been. And I don't think we're at the apex either. I think it's only gonna get more and more popular and mainstream, especially as celebrities start jumping onto this bandwagon, realizing today's youth and, and young people are watching self-made streamers and YouTubers and not them on TV anymore. Celebrities definitely have been trying to get more involved with this um, so that they can be like, hey, we're still over here and we're still famous. So. I feel like it's one of those things where um, with the popularity of it, it's only gonna get more difficult to get parts at launch as we move forward uh, through the progression of whatever PC pop culture ends up being in the next five to 10 years. So guys, those have just been my predictions on timelines, um, what's coming out, when to expect it, and how hard it will be to get. If you guys have any predictions of your own or you just think I'm way off base on something, put it down in the comments below and say what you think is gonna launch. Who do you think is gonna be first? First of all, who do you think is gonna be the first company to launch something in 2020 of the big three. Um, the laptops aside, because we already know AMD was first and then Intel responded. So with that said, guys, sound off in the comments below how you think the rest of this year is gonna go regarding product launches. 
Hope you guys are staying safe. Hope you guys are feeling well. And as always, we will see you in the next one.